This is the day the Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I am so glad in it. Well, on to the next. My aunt, my aunt, my aunt. This is another project that she has given me a challenge to try. All right, this is the fur coat that I am going to, an old, outdated fur coat that I am going to use to revamp a jean jacket. So, this is the victim. <laughs> All right, you saw the fur coat, and now this is the jacket that I am going to make into a fabulous garment. The bag that I'm wearing. Why am I wearing it, you asked? I took some photos. Um, this is Annette with With the Wear by Nettie. Um, I thank you guys for tuning in. You can go to my page and you will see the before. And now I'm showing you some of the after. I, my aunt gave me two jean jackets that they wanted me to DIY and add fur to. She had an old fur coat that was a beast to take apart. I'm just going to keep it real. You can't just cut it because if you don't cut it like on the grain or in the right seams, it just falls apart. So... I basically had to take the coat, and these are some of the pieces. I basically had to take it apart. Now, I don't know if you can see, but it has these pieces that was sewn together. Can you see that? And so you kind of, you can't just cut it. You kind of have to cut in the grain, like where, how it was put together. And then what I decided to do that made it even a little easier was um, I decided to, you know, trace the cuffs. I traced the collar. Now, the collar was a little easier to do. I had two jackets. So, the collar was basically double-sided. So, I cut the collar in half easily. Not easily. <laughs> carefully. I cut the collar in half. So, I'm using one piece of the collar for one coat and the other piece for the other. Now, you can't just... I didn't want to just glue it on. I didn't want to just, you know haphazardly sew it on so I came up with you know those furs that they that they make that you can attach to your jacket or sweater or shirt they have the buttons on it and they have it one sided then they have fabric on the other side and there's padding so I decided to replicate that and what I did was this is one that I've completed I'm going to put it on film and let you see it and it's full glory but I put the one part what I did was took it apart. Now this was the first one. I'd never done this before and as I went along I found it easier and an easier way to do it. But this was the first one and what I did was I took some Pelham and this is the kind of um, interfacing that you would use like if you were doing a quilt. This is the fleece type and I measured it and I cut it and I used that as padding in it. Then I found this cool fabric that I've got from one of my road trips and I also cut it and I made this the back part of the jacket. So I used my stay stitch so that you wouldn't see the stitches here but I found an even better way to do it and a faster way to do it on jacket number two. But on this one which still came out really nice so I had the fabric and the interfacing on the back of the jacket and then I had the fur on the front. Now when it came down to the cuffs I had to take the button out because it it just wasn't going to work because you can't put um, a buttonhole on this because again once you cut it and if you're not cutting on the stitch it's just going to fall apart. So I thought it would be just best because I know they're not going to wear you know buttoned up anyway. I took the button out and you don't need any interfacing or anything on this part of it. But I did use the fabric because what I found was I um, took the fabric, I laid it down, and I basically sewed the fabric onto this, you know, right size facing. And then when you turned it, you can't tell that it was sewn or anything. It looks like it was meant to be on here. And then what I did was I basically put it on top of the cuff, back side, and then I just sewed it. Again, you can't tell. I sewed it by hand on this part. And I also had to take the jacket up um, if the sleeves were too long. So I basically just did it like you would do a pair of jeans. You know how 
if you've ever, those of you that sew, you know how you take up jeans. So I basically did that for um, the jacket. And again, you know, it looks like it was meant to be like that. So this is jacket number one. And like I said, when I um, com complete jacket number two, I will put them both on that seam that you see. Well, in the midst of doing jacket number two, this will they basically give you another insight on how I did it. So, this again was the fabric. What I did was sewed it both sides facing each other and a stitch. I just sewed the fabric onto the back side of the fur and then I turned it inside, you know, of course, cut off all the edges. I also zigzagged this so that it would not, you know, fray, won't have hair all over the place. And again, and see. So now this interfacing, I measured it again. I took three, well it's about, I don't know, ten sheets here because you know the fleece is very thin and you just pad it on. And so I'm going to put this in here. I've got it pinned down. But basically I'm going to feed this into here and then I'm going to take this and you see where the jacket, the, the collar ends? So I'm going to hand sew this because if I try to sew it on a machine, it's just going to go through. It's going to go. It's just not going to look good. So I was able to sew it, to sew the fabric onto the fur. That cuts my time down in half. Do the same thing with the cuffs, and then now with the cuffs, you don't have to um, stuff them or do anything. Um, you just have to sew the fabric on, and this makes it easier to sew once you have it on. So I'm going to sew this on. I'm going to carefully fold this here and then I'm going to sew this to this but I'm going to use the crease here to hide my stitches and if you do it it's a little time consuming but you um, do it in the crease and then you have to continue to look on this side as well you can't do them together I've tried that it just doesn't work but so I'm going to put the padding in sew this into the crease and then on this side with the zigzag stitch again you're going to fold it and then you also have a crease on this side and you're going to sew it and make sure the thread is hidden inside of this crease again it's time consuming but you will get a professional look and so of course the collar is going to be stuffed but there's no need to stuff the sleeves because the fur give you gives you that fullness look um, with the fur, you know, you can brush it the way that you want it to go. And there you go. So I'm going to get started. I'm halfway through. And then once I'm done, I will show you how they look on Thelma. Alrighty. Well, on to the next. I have completed jacket number two. There she is in all her swag. Alright, so I showed you guys the other jacket um i've completed both jackets the first one was for my aunt after doing the first one you know you always find different ways to do something to make it easier this was my first time and i didn't want to use glue i didn't want to just attach it i wanted to make it look like it belonged there so the other jacket with my aunt um both jackets i had to remove remove the button on the sleeve so on this one even after removing the buttons the sleeve just didn't look right you know just open so what I did was I attach a button and those you know those little scrunchies that you put on your hair if you have long hair for a ponytail well I did that so that you can button it if you needed to and then you got it looking like again it's supposed to be there with this one as you can see this is what I'm talking about and what I did was I always like to make it look like it was done by rip the wear so I took some patches cut out some a little heart and put it over where the buttonhole um, slit was and then I sewed this in and then on this side I did the same with the little heart patch and what my hopes is is as you well I don't know if you can wash it but it will start to fray and then this is the button and this is it open and again um, it looks like it belongs there you see no thread except the original thread um, I showed you guys how I had to sew the fabric on yada 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 and then on this one 
this is the um, cuff with the button. There you go. It is attached. Same thing with the um, collar. Um, I showed you guys how um, I attached the fabric. Again, it looks like it belongs there. Um, just attach it to the back. And like I said, there she is. And all her swag. Slate. Alright, so this is the final look of the jacket. I'm hoping when she wears it, she will post it so you can really get a look at, you know, how it really came out. So again, this is Rip the Wear by Nettie. I hope if you liked my um, videos that you will subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit the bell. And every time I post something, you will, need, you will be notified. Always, always, always think of others. It will make you feel good as well. Give someone a phone call. Let them know you're thinking about them, checking on them, because we all have our moments where we feel alone. And, you know, I don't have any kids, don't have a boo, but I thank God for my friends because they are, well, most of my friends. <laughs> you know how sometimes you're like, everybody comes to you to borrow, everybody comes to you with your problems, and sometimes you're like, if I had to borrow or if I needed to go to someone, of course, you're going to go to God with your problems always because he's the master man. I mean, he's, if he can't solve it, it can't be solved. But there's sometimes when you just want to vent. Do you have that one person that you know knows? First of all, I have a girlfriend that's got me. When I'm not myself, she knows. And then you have those friends who never know when there's something wrong with you. But hey, when there's something wrong with them, they're going to be on the phone calling you up. But anyway, just check on your buds. Check on someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Just say, hey, I was thinking about you. Just wanted to make sure you were okay. Is there anything I can do for you? Not only will it make you feel good, but it will brighten up their day. All right, you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. This is the day this Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I am so glad in it. Until next time, bye.